Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Gain times 7 and 8. I'm showing off the, uh, mind you, I'm going to go into more detail about the screen later on, but I'm going to show you the final results of the screen. It is finally done. I had to move it from one section to over here because I have my 180 inch right here. All right, so. I had the motorized screen already hooked up. Um, I actually put a piece of material right here in the center of the screen due to the fact that when wind was pushing through, it was causing the screen to push back and forth. And also too, to keep it sturdy and stiff and also weatherproof. That's why you're seeing a little yellowish in there. It was actually coated with a weatherproof sealer to keep the screen from moving back and forth to keep it stiff and to keep wind from traveling through it, but also too, to weatherproof it. So. I'm going to stand back here and bring it down. Now for those of you that are curious where to get the motorized screen, I'll put that link at the bottom. Um, this is a 92 inch 16.9. The frame can take up to 100 inch screen 16.9. Also too, those of you who are wondering how I got that awesome color. That is a Supreme 8 that's actually coated on a white projection screen. Keep in mind when you buy it, it will not be this color. The reason why it looks this way is because it's using our technology. That's the reason why it has that really cool black sleek color to it. Now, if you're curious to see me paint the screen, I'll put a link at the bottom so you can see the demonstration of me actually painting the screen and also to afterwards where I peel off the tape showing the final results. So yes, it is designed so when I hang the screen up, I can remove it at will. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna leave a motorized screen outside. It'll short it out. So it's designed so I can remove it off the frame at will. Also too, it is very well supported. Um, let me show you really quick. So in the back of the screen, as you can see, I have heavy duty brackets from here to here. Also use washers to make sure I have better support. And then on the back I have buckets. Now these buckets are actually bolted down to the platforms here and I actually use bricks to keep it in. Now I wouldn't use cement if you decide you want to move this from A to B. If you're going to make it permanent, use cement. If you're not, throw bricks in it. And it's very easy to move. I was able to move from here over to here by myself. This is the blackout cloth material. If you're going to use a blackout cloth material, keep in mind you do want to spray it down with some kind of weatherproof sealer. If you don't, you're going to have, it's going to, it's actually going to develop mold and mildew, but not only it's going to develop mold and mildew, it's going to allow air to pass through it. I want something that I can actually coat it and that way air couldn't pass through and cause the screen to move back and forth. We got a bit of a windy day here and as you can see, air is not pushing through and as you can see the screen is not pushing back and forth. So that's it. It's just about done. Just got to add in some lead lights over the top right there, and I'm going to run a sound bar at the bottom. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I got to go. I'm Kenneth Burke from Lumen.